Hi, I'm Marissa Collins from CorporateProfile.com. I'm here with Robin Smith, CEO of Neostem, Inc. The ticker for that is MBS on the American Stock Exchange. Hi, Robin. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. How are you? Great. I'm really interested in your company, Neostem. Can you tell more about it to somebody that maybe has never heard of it? Sure. What our company does is it allows you and I to have our stem cells collected today, stored, processed and stored for multiple uses in the future. And as we know, there's many clinical trials looking at using stem cells for things outside of cancer, like heart disease, MS, lupus, diabetes, just to name a few. So we're very excited about the technologies and the movement of using stem cell-based therapy, your own stem cells, for treatment of other diseases in the future. Great. Can you tell us some of the applications, both here and abroad, that you've developed? Sure. So we've licensed some technologies in the field of orthopedics, wound care, um, a facelift procedure, and some applications for skin rejuvenation so that we can help move the field of therapy forward. And we're very excited to be uh, overseas to expand our both our um, current core business as well as some of the therapies so that we can generate revenues and move the research and development more quickly overseas. And you just acquired an exclusive license in Asia, correct, for orthopedic applications? Yeah, well one of our large investors is very focused on regenerative medicine, anti-aging and prevention, and they have a clinic in Taipei and um, are expanding into Shanghai. So they're excited about our technologies and we'll be working with them to add them to our network to increase the ability of using the stem cell therapy, at, uh, the licenses that we've acquired, as well as having people collect their stem cells for future use um, in the areas, surrounding areas, and uh, additional 50 hospitals. So we're very excited about that. We'll enable them with the technology and be able to generate revenue from the work that they're doing as well. So tell me some more about stem cells. What exactly are they? So there are embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. What we do is we work with adult stem cells. So there's no controversy. The Pope actually endorsed adult stem cells. So, so we're in a great area that um, people are very are endorsing today, and the science is behind it to show the applications for the therapies using adult stem cells. And there are ways that nutritionally you can keep your stem cells as healthy as possible. We want our body to not only have stem cells, but as they get re reduced or released into um, our bloodstream for repair, we want them to be healthy and, and not be um, as susceptible to the environment as possible. And what is the typical age frame and how would you educate the public about this possibility? Well, unfortunately, as you get older and there are insults in the environment, whether it's radiation from flying, from, you know, going underwater, which can compress your bone marrow, from smoking and weight, everything, it affects your stem cells. And so as we age, our stem cells are less in quantity and quality. So obviously the earlier you do it, the better, but it's not too late. I mean, people say now 70 years of age is, is middle age and it's no longer or, you know, old age. So um, things are, are shifting and people are living longer. So, um, you know, the key is to keep yourself as healthy as possible. People are very focused on the outside of their body. Now it's time to focus on the inside. And there are nutritional supplements and things that we can take on a daily basis to enhance our stem cells and promote wellness. Where did you come up with this idea? You know, it, actually we didn't. We had written some articles, our scientists, um, who are very knowledgeable about stem cells, and they and a drink was um, created with a blend of the ingredients that have been shown to enhance stem cells and produce wellness, um, both from an immune system to enhance your immune system. And they developed a drink. It's actually called IO, and we are helping the company to create second-generation products that they can use and sell. And what's your revenue share with? Bio. You know, it's, it's an exciting opportunity for us. We, um, a piece of the sales comes to our foundation, STEM for Life, which is an important part because some people can't afford our services and we feel very passionate about first responders, people who put themselves at risk, um, you know, for us so that we want to be able to help people have their stem cells collected so they're available to them for the future. So if, for us, it's, it's a very rewarding um, program to be a part of. It's a very win-win situation here. Exactly. And so besides the global market, you've expanded to over the river in New Jersey. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. We're really excited about that collaboration because although it's local and it's the stem cell and the collection process, we're working with Dr. Gene Papa, who actually does what he calls the stem cell face list. He's done a lot. He speaks all around the world. And we've licensed some technology, and we've actually filed some IP with him focused on skin, re skin rejuvenation. And so, for example, wouldn't it be great if, say, your stem cells could be used as a Botox alternative? So, um, you know, we're really excited about looking at how stem cells can affect the application of skin and euthanine and to be able to use that for people um, as they age. That's fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Sure. Thank you for having me. 
I'm Marissa Collins for CorporateProfile.com. We just interviewed Robin Smith, CEO of Neostem. The ticker for that is NBS. Thanks a lot.